Coco. You're just rolling. Yeah, I just keep talking. And then uh, and then I shot Coco there. I played Frank Sinatra in the Florence film. And uh, so now it'll be my my third time in Monte Carlo. It's great to be back. So talk to us about Texas Rising. What's your favorite memory from that shoot? You know, when I was a kid, uh, even though I grew up in the 60s and 70s, I had a childhood that was very much like the 1800s because my dad grew up on a farm and uh, my whole childhood, we had, a, we had two horses that were draft horses, one after the other, and we had a buggy, and we had a surrey, and we had a sleigh. Uh, and I remember just feeling like old frontier Wild West with, you know, hitch up the horse to the buggy and sleigh, and everybody else was driving a car, and sometimes we would just drive the horse and buggy. So to be able to do that in a movie, to be able to do a Western, like a big old John Ford-like Western was amazing to be a part of, especially directed by one of my favorite directors, Roland Joffe. Uh, just an amazing man, an amazing person, a gentleman, and a, and a great director. I have to say, I, I, it's been a long time since I've ever felt like I worked on a TV show by working on television. Television has changed so much, even since I started acting on television in 1985, I believe. Um, it feels very cinematic. Everyone wants to do the best job possible. They don't want to just say, you know what, it's television, let's just get by. Those, those days are over. At least those aren't the people I worked with, so uh, I don't have to worry about that. I don't know if I learned anything specifically from Prison Break, but what I learned um, from acting in general on any good production that I work with is camaraderie and teamwork. And um, I had four years of a great team uh, cast and crew on Prison Break and immediately when I got to Durango, Mexico I felt that uh, because of Leslie Greif, uh, because of Roland, because of Bill Paxton, Brendan Fraser, I'd, I don't think I've ever met him before but we all stayed at the same hotel and we all hung out at the same pool and everything and immediately I'm going, oh my god, my kid loved you in George of the Jungle, and you there you are. And he's like, Rob, how are you, man? I haven't seen you. Everybody was treating each other like we were old buddies. Chris McDonald over here. I mean, he, I'd worked with him on a film before. And it was just, you know, one of those things where it's hot down there. And you're putting on those boots, and you're slogging out in the mud. It rains a lot. And uh, then it gets really hot. And we were all in it together. In it together. There's an old Mark Twain story I love where man is on a raft and he's floating down a river and in the river up ahead he sees this man who's stuck in the mud and his head is above the water and that's it and he looks up at the guy on the boat and he says hey buddy can you give me a hand and pull me out of here and the guy on the raft says no but I can get down in there with you and this was one of those shoots where we everybody got down in there and, and helped each other out it was terrific